today. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, this is the National Football League. Enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast, always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. yards into the end zone and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback now here comes Teddy Bridgewater first round pick back in 2014 as he looks to command this Panther offense it's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. carry for Christian McCaffrey. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. He was taken yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And shedding the tackle and now some room. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. We saw it at Stanford. It does not surprise me to see it here in the NFL as well. This is one elusive young man. He set the NCAA record in 2015, 3,864 all-purpose yards. Listen, after watching that move, I just called for the trainer. I think I pulled a hammy just watching him. <laughs> This is McCaffrey, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. To throw is Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Ouch. You thought 
you have the defensive stand helping the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third down, Bridgewater. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. So here's Washington now backed up a bit to start their first drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. From the end zone, Smith. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's able to get this across the 10 before yeah, being yeah, taken down. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped 10 yards. First down. Produces a gain of two. It's second down now. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Throwing on second and eight. Smith. Open man here. Sims complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So a gain of seven brings up third and one. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Smith on first down. 
That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit, and do something with the receivers to you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him. <laughs> All right, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few to like, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here in this first series. Well, start throwing the football. Four for four on this opening run. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Throwing on second and eight, Smith. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That second down play nets a minus four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and say, it's a defense. When we talk with them prior to the game, they said they brought this home crowd to come in and their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Back deep, the dangerous Pharaoh Cooper. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And he was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. <laughs> on 
second and 11 now. Bridgewater. Looking long for Thomas. It got his man complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A game there of 30 minutes. elements that go into making a big play. This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football, right on the money. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against, but you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. It's McCaffrey. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. No score after one on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Throwing Bridgewater. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action, we had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now, it's game on. Extra point attempt to come here. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Joey slide out, a kickoff after the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down.
On first down, it's Gibson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, here's Smith. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Taken down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Out of the gun, Smith. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked up by Troy Pride, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanking the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run with McCaffrey. And not much running room. Down to the 32. It was Jonathan Bostick there on the stop. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Bridgewater. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. First down, Carolina. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now Joey Sly for the point after. It's good to make it 14-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They'll run on first down. Gibson, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He was Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Smith. He'll air this out deep for Harmon. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Burris. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and him ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Carolina offense about ready to go. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. You now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 at their own 23. <laughs> Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Montez Sweat. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And maybe that can give him a little bit of a good, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's McCaffrey. And that play goes absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Bridgewater to throw it. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Thirty-six yards on the punt with no return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game.
A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Catch is made, it's Harmon. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Oh, these guys are definitely bad at playing the first half. I like their confidence, I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Smith. His throw incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again, Smith, the throw taken in by Sims. Nine yards and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. with McKissick. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And it'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To throw is Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Hopkins will kick it away. 
taken at about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard DJ Moore, the Carolina offense, about to take over once again. Not only does he not have a catch, I don't, I don't think he's been targeted in this game, but they're winning. And if you ask a receiver of his magnitude, he'll tell you that it's because everyone is focused on him anyway. Okay, you've taken it away. No catches, no targets, but we're still winning. I've opened things up for the rest of my team. I know how receivers think. <laughs> They've been using him as a decoy, and effectively so. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here, first and 10 at their own 22. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a run with McCaffrey. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And Bridgewater able to get this complete to Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw, Bridgewater. That'll be taken in by Anderson. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. This is miserable. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Carolina first, Bridgewater to Moore. I've got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. and 10, Bridgewater. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. 
So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. And again, it's Bridgewater. And that is incomplete here. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. force the incompletion, and now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. A 45-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. Washington, 7. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10 play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And that'll be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Smith got an open man at Harmon. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. From the gun, Smith. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision, because they do have the final call now. and two minutes to go in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellows in New York. And if you're the coach, you're thinking, thank you, New York. Here's Cressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 
40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Teddy Bridgewater and his Panthers ready to go again, and he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence, does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Looking for the out loud, and he's got more. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Runs up second and two at the 36-yard line. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the veteran quarterback. His guys lead it by 10 as we send the back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. down on the scoreboard but they are getting the football first here and we are back underway on EA Sports Danny Johnson returning and they're getting down inside the 30 at the 27 Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 27 now we get another look at Washington on offense First down, it's Gibson. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Carry now for McKissick. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. And now he'll. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48 yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time one starts with a B, one starts with an S ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock.
They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll get it down to the point of the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And a short game there down to the 37-yard line. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll try to throw here now. Bridgewater. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Throwing is Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And his kick is good. Not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. Returning it, Johnson. And able to get this out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. They'll start on the ground with Barber. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Operating from the gun, Smith. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. On the throwaway. He was covered by Trey Boston.
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Smith. And that is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Bridgewater on first down. Quick slant, caught by Moore. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play. But they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent game. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. McCaffrey on the counter. Oh, fighting off the defender. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. But I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 36 now, first and 10. McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. 
Third down, Bridgewater. They'll let this go for the end zone. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Ian Thomas, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now Bridgewater will lead the troops up to go for two. And they go with McCaffrey. McCaffrey will try to run it in. Two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try to bring pressure. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll run on first down. Gibson gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Two coming up. They got eight yards there. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They will run it. It's McKissick. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. going to do it. 
clock hit zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Smith and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete it'll be second down that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration the body language is evident everywhere this team they've really been put through the ringer in this one after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten to throw again Smith Looking sideline, incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. Washington on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, Smith. And he finds McLaurin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. That's a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Play action. It's Smith. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. Second and 10 now from the 27. Throwing again. Smith over the middle complete that's Harmon they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle them after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way Washington on third down they've hit four of seven here it's third and three Here's McKissick, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Dustin Hopkins now for the Washington field goal. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. Hopkins' kick is good. And that'll get the deficit back to 16. Washington 10. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Just following the main field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Panthers take over first and 10 
at their own. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And this is incomplete. Bridgewater's pass from the design line and incomplete. It's now second and 10. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? Chain, second and 13. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey, and he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Smith. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They call it no game there on the first down play. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing again on second down. Smith, and he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Washington on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Back to throw, Smith. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. But he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Open man here, Sims complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Come on now, let's make it happen. Give it to the play. Time. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. To the air again, Smith. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Throwing again is Smith. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Jack back at about the 43-yard line. Brian Burns in there to bury him for a loss of 11. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Washington on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and 14. A shotgun snap for Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Smith. And it is incomplete. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards 
the loss, second and 12. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. This across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. zone Smith and this is intercepted and that should do it Dante Jackson picks it and fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11 yard line in the red zone when you're on your own one yard line like they were oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down get some space there they elect to throw it it cost them you get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise, right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot. Let's throw it. Try and create some space, some room. And it went awry, didn't it? Now a first and 10 at the 11. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Young 
In there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. And his kick here is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. Washington 10. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt a return. The Washington offense set to take over. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he'll go underneath through this one to McKissick. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. I have to put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. From the gun, here's Smith. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 20 seconds left. Calvin Harmon, the man he was looking for. And yeah, that'll bring up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. to throw again, Smith. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Brings up third down and 10. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. One last throw here for Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, 
Offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.